This is Uncle Sam FM, and I am updating my Playing Major League Soccer and Football Manager video series for the FM 2020 edition. Now, I know there's a lot of FM gamers that avoid playing MLS, and the most common reason that I hear is the rules. They're too confusing, there are too many, or it's just too frustrating because it makes it too difficult, or impossible even, to sign or keep the players that I want. As someone who grew up in the United States and has been a fan of MLS since its inception, I mostly understand the rules and why they exist. And while it's definitely understandable how someone from outside the United States could kind of feel overwhelmed, but after having played in a lot of the leagues in FM, I found that the rules in MLS make it one of the most enjoyable challenges in the game. You'll have to constantly revamp your squad to keep it competitive in the league, the cup, and all the continental competitions that MLS teams now participate in. If you enjoy tinkering with tactics, the consistent turnover adds another challenge because you're always going to be having new tactical puzzles to solve as you have to revamp your squad. So this video series is intended to hopefully help the FM gamer who might be curious about playing in MLS and hopefully understand it a little better. Part one of this video series will give an overview of the league's format. So most leagues around the world have a single table format. However, MLS divides the teams into Eastern and Western conferences. While that's really just how we do things in American sports, what it does do is help to develop regional and local rivalries and also adds intrigue to matches against opponents outside your conference that you see less of. So here you see the 2019 conference alignment with 12 teams in each conference. New in 2019 is FC Cincinnati, who joined MLS and joined the Eastern Conference in this season. And something else in FM that makes MLS interesting is expansion. SI has the license to include the real expansion that takes place after the first season in the game. In 2020, Inter-Miami moves into the Eastern Conference and National SC joins the West. This is true in real life and in FM, you can take over one of these teams at the start of the game and try and build your squad during that 2019 season and hopefully hit the ground running and be competitive in your expansion year in 2020. The schedule format is also a little unconventional. Most leagues play a simple double round robin format with a home and away match against every other team in the league. MLS, however, plays an unbalanced schedule. Each team plays 34 matches and they'll play each team from their conference twice with the remaining matches filled out by teams from the opposing conference. So in 2019, it works out that you'll play every team in your conference twice for a total of 22 matches, and you'll play the 12 teams in the other conference once for a total of 34. However, in 2020, after the expansion, you'll have... 12 teams in your conference to play for a total of 24, which means you will only play 10 of the 13 teams in the other conference. The schedule also uh, is a little different in the calendar because in most leagues around the world, you play a, a, a fall to spring schedule, whereas MLS plays a spring to fall schedule. So the season starts in early March and then it lasts until late October. If you play well enough, and you are the league you win, you earn the most points during the regular season, you will win the MLS Supporter Shield. Now, this is not the league championship like it would be in most leagues, but it is a trophy, and it does earn the club a place in the CONCACAF Champions League. Now, to win the MLS, you must qualify for the playoffs. The teams that had the best regular season record in each conference earn a bye to the conference semifinals, whereas the teams that finished second through seventh will start the playoffs in the quarterfinal round. Another thing that makes MLS a little different from most leagues around the world is there is no promotion or relegation. It's a foreign concept to most Americans. And so if your team finishes dead last in the regular season, well, that just means you regroup and rebuild to try and give it a go next season. This is a sample of the layout uh, for the, the league as far as playoff qualification goes. And you can see how those spots are allocated to the teams at the top of the table. And again, for the teams who fail to qualify for the playoffs, their season is simply over. 
This is what the playoff tree looks like, with the number one seed in each conference earning automatic entry to the conference semifinals, while the other six teams in each conference start in the quarterfinal, drawn according to their seeding. So the better that you did in the regular season, the better your draw is for the playoffs. In a change to the previous format in 2019, Every round of the MLS playoffs is now a one-leg affair, so it's win or go home, no tomorrows. As a reward for your regular season performance, the team who had the most points will host each match in the MLS Cup's playoffs. MLS teams also participate in the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. This is the National Cup of the United States. It's similar to the FA Cup in England. Established in 1914, it's actually one of the oldest national comp competition in the world. It predates the Tasa de Portugal, the Copa de France, the Copa Italia, and the DFB Pokal from Germany. Amateur and semi-pro clubs will go through a qualification process in real life, while in FM, they're chosen mostly randomly. All professional clubs are invited to compete. In FM, MLS teams will enter the competition in the fourth round, and... The U.S. Open Cup also will give the winner a automatic berth to the CONCACAF Champions League. So that's a quick look at the league format. In the next episode, we'll start to break down the MLS squad rules.